In this video today, I'm gonna to be reviewing one of the best record pulls that I've come across, Heavy Hits. So when you come to the home page, you are gonna be pretty overwhelmed because there's a lot of information on the page. You've got all your pages on the left-hand side. You've got the main banner in the middle. You've got all your playlists. You've got the heavy picks. So the first thing that's gonna stand out when you come onto the record pool is the banner. So this banner will probably be the first thing you see when you come to the home page. The next thing you'll see underneath are these playlists. So you've got indie pop and dance. You've got heavy reggaeton, heavy ama piano. Basically, these are the playlists on the website that Heavy Hits really wants you to see. So if you're really into your reggaeton you can click into this playlist or you, if you're really into your amber piano you can click into this playlist here i'm going to get into the playlist a little bit later on in the video because that's one of my favorite parts the next thing you'll see on the home page on the right hand side is going to be heavy picks heavy picks are tracks that are selected by heavy hits themselves so you got all these top 10 tracks that heavy hits have picked out so make sure you go check these out when you come to the home page and also heaviest hits when you click to this these are going to be the tracks that are the top trending tracks in the charts so make sure you check these tracks out because these are the tracks that are going to be downloaded the most by the DJs. If you wanna have the hottest tracks, I do suggest that you download these tracks on the right hand side. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you're gonna have the main part of the homepage, which is gonna be the new releases. New releases on the homepage are all the new tracks that have come out today. So if you scroll down, there are quite a few tracks that have come out today. If you keep scrolling down, there's gonna be more and more tracks that have been added today, which will then bring you to the view all new releases button, which will take you to the new releases page. So the new releases page is exactly what it says. It's all the brand new releases on the website. So you can see that these tracks here have been added today. And if you scroll down a little bit and then go to the next page, you can see the tracks that have also been added yesterday as well. With all the tracks, you can preview and listen to your track before you download it. So if you just hover over one of the tracks and press play, you can see that a player at the bottom appears, so you can press play, you can go forward, you can go backwards. It has all the information of the track. You can go to the different version of the track, so you've got clean, dirty, and instrumental. And you can also add the track to your crate, which I'll explain a little bit later on in the video. You've just got your waveform here, so you can skip along and then listen to a certain part of the track. Also, when you're looking at a track, if you see these three lines here, it means that this track has relatable tracks. So if I ha if I click this, you can see that this track also has an acapella in, an acapella out, and it also has two remixes. So make sure you keep an eye out for the three lines next to a track because you might download a track that you like, but there might be an intro version, an acapella version, or there might even be a remix that you can chuck into your DJ set. Also, to get even more information on the track, you can actually click into the track itself and you can see a lot more information about the track. You can see the title, you can see the genre, the BPM, the date it was added, key, and then the tags that are linked to the track. You've got the dance ability, energy, popularity, mood, balance. You've got a bunch of information that could probably help you in deciding if you want to download this track or not. It's also got all the versions of the track as well. So you've got clean acapella, uh, clean intro, clean short, instrumental clean. And you've also got related releases, which I was talking about before, where it's got the acapella in, acapella out, and then the remix is related to to it. But then if you scroll down, there's a part on the site that I was really impressed with. So there's a recommended harmonically mixable tracks section where these tracks will mix perfectly with this tracks based on like the BPM and the key and the mood and stuff. So yeah, so if you download a track, make sure you click into the track and see all this extra information because it's going to help you with downloading the track as well as downloading other tracks going forward. So with each track, you can download it. So if I go over to a track here and then click download it will come up with all the different versions so you can download the clean clean acapella clean intro etc you can also download this track to your crate adding a track to your crate is simply just going through all the tracks and just adding them to your crate and then you can download them all later instead of just downloading them straight away on the spot in order to do that just press play on the track the boy is mine. The boy is mine. and then if you go down to here and you see this icon here add to download later crate if i click that you can see on the bottom right -hand corner that has been added to my download later to crate. In order to access your crate, if you come to the left hand side here and go to my crate, you can see that the track has been added to your crate and you can download this later on. You can also filter the new releases page by genre. So if you come to the top up here and click here, you can filter it by electronic dance, hip hop, international, Latin, pop, or reggae. So I'm gonna filter this by reggae and dancehall. So now you can see that all these tracks have been filtered by reggae and dancehall. So these were added today, these were added two days ago, and then so on and so forth. Another great thing I wanna mention about the new releases is that it goes back almost two years. So if I scroll all the way down and then go to the last page, 
you can see that there's tracks from 2020. So the good thing about this is if you sign up to the record pool, you can get two years worth of new releases as soon as you sign up. Another thing I was really impressed with was the search box. So at the search box at the top, you can type in your favorite artist, a title, or even a tag. So I can search in here, let's say Chris Brown, and I can press enter, and it will come up with all the tracks related to Chris Brown. So you've got a bunch of tracks down here, and you can go through them and download. And they're also ordered by release date as well. You can also come up to the top and search for your favorite song. So you might wanna search for, I don't know, Gold Digger by Kanye West. So you can see here that all the results for Gold Digger have appeared. Another good thing about the search box on heavy hits is the filter section. So if I open this up, you can see that it has a bunch of filters. So it's got a filter for genre, version, key, BPM, and decade. So if I open this up, you can filter it by genre, let's say hip hop and R&B, or you got the version. So it's got all the different versions of the tracks that's available on the website. You've got the key. So if you're mixing key, you can select which key you wanna mix in. You've got BPM, so it's got all the BPM ranges here, and it's also got the decades as well. The one thing I did notice about heavy hits is that they don't have a specific specific genre page for each genre. So say for example, you wanted to just look for the hip hop tracks. You can't just go to a hip hop page and it has all the tracks there. You can't just go to a dance page and it has all the tracks there. So what I've done is I've created a bunch of bookmarks for you guys to use. So if you come up here and I click this, first of all, I've got all the bookmarks for the pages on the site. So you've got the homepage, new releases, playlists, remixes, weekly charts, and exclusives. But if you come into genres here, I've created bookmarks for every single genre that I can think of on the site. So you've got R&B, hip hop, Afro beats, dancehall, etc. So say for example, you wanted to come in and look for just reggaeton songs. You can click this link here and all the reggaeton tracks will appear here in the search results. So if I scroll down, if you're into your reggaeton, all these tracks will be here for you to download and they're ordered by release date as well. I can come to another one and go to genres and search for say UK drills. If you're from the UK, you know that UK drill is very popular in the clubs at the moment. You can come here, click UK drill and all all the latest UK drill songs will appear. So if I scroll down, you got the latest Digger D, you got the latest Central C, etc. Now to get onto one of my most favorite parts of the site, the playlists. Playlists are one of the best things on heavy hits. So you can come down into here and you can just click on any of the playlists and download the tracks for them. So say for example, you're not very familiar with say Ama Piano, you can come into the heavy Ama Piano playlist and you can listen to all these new Ama Piano songs. This playlist has been created by DJ Chemix in March, 2022. All these tracks here could help you build your Ama Piano library. So if I go back and let's have a look at another playlist, playlist, let's say heavy hip hop. If you don't know about too much hip hop, you can come into this playlist that's been created by DJ Stax and you can download all these tracks. These playlists are here purely to help DJs build their music library and just get to know a certain genre. Also what I found in here, you can also search as well. So if I search in here, dancehall, it shows you all the dancehall playlists. So if I go into here and go to best of 2021 reggae dancehall, this playlist has been created by Heavy Hits themselves. So all these tracks here were the best tracks to come out of last year. If you don't know too much about reggae and dancehall, you can come into here, you can download all these tracks to your music library and start building your reggae and dancehall music library. You can also search the playlist page via tag. So if I go over to here, and scroll down, all these tags are available to search on the website, but let's scroll down to this one here, wedding. So if I search this, it comes up with all the wedding playlists that are available on heavy hits. So if you have a look here, you've got wedding classics, you've got primetime wedding, and you've also got pop warm up, modern wedding. If you've got a wedding planned up and you don't really know what songs to play, you can go into these playlists, download all the tracks and get yourselves ready for your wedding. Another page that I really like on the site is the remixes section. You can come to this remixes section on the page and you can go check out any of these creators on the site and download their remixes. So let's go into say DJ John Lee. When you click into the page it comes up with all of his remixes so you, what you can do you can listen to them you can download them or even add them to your crate to download later another great section on the website is the chart section when you come to this page here you're going to be presented with the weekly chart so you can scroll down and see all these tracks that are popping in the charts for this week and if you scroll up you can also do the time span by seven days 30 days 90 days or even a year so you can scroll down you can have a listen to these tracks if you like them you can download them and add them to your music library if i scroll back up you can also filter this by genre so I can filter this by reggae and dancehall and this will give me the weekly charts for the reggae and dancehall you can do this exact same for let's say Latin and you've got the weekly charts for Latin let's change this to 30 days and you've got the latest monthly charts for Latin music 
Another great section that I like on the website is the exclusives page. So these tracks on here are exclusive to heavy hits. So if you've got this record pool and your peers around you don't have this record pool, you'll be able to stand out because you've got tracks that they don't have. So if you come to the exclusive page, you can see all the tracks are exclusive to heavy hits and they're added almost daily. You can also filter these by genre as well. So if I go into electronic dance, you can see all the electronic dance exclusives for heavy hits. Another great feature on heavy hits is the Dropbox mode. So basically what you need to do to enable Dropbox mode is if you come up to here and toggle this checkbox here, you can see that all these icons now turn to Dropbox icons. So what you can do is if you see a track that you like, you can click it and then click the version that you want to download and you can see that it's been added to your Dropbox queue. If I download another one, it's getting added to the queue. If I scroll up to the top, you can see that this, this Dropbox item now has a number popping above it. This means that I've got five items in the queue. So if I click this, it will say that I've got five tracks ready to download. If I click save to Dropbox, so now I've come to my Dropbox account, I can click the folder I wanna save the tracks to. So I'll say, I'll come into my heavy hits folder and I'll click save. And what it's gonna do is gonna process all my tracks and download them all to my Dropbox. All the tracks have been saved to my Dropbox and then what I can do is I can go to my Dropbox and download all the tracks and then download them all to my computer. Right, so I know that's a lot of information to take in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna timestamp the entire video so you can go down to the description and jump to any section of the video that you want. Now, if you do wanna sign up to Heavy Hits, you can use my code DJCB to get your first month for $4.99 to try it out. It will then increase to $24.99. You can also cancel at any time. The sign up process is a little bit different though. What you'll need to do when you sign up is submit your social media account. Then someone will manually go to your social media account, see that you're a working DJ. Once they've seen that you're a working DJ, they'll let you have access to to the record pool, which I think is perfectly fair because they only wanna have working DJs on their record pool. If you're thinking about signing up to Heavy Hits, type heavy in the comments, I'd love to know. If you've got any questions about the record pool before signing up, please hit me up on Instagram at DJC underscore B, I'm happy to help. Now you know where to get your music from, check this video out here to see how I organize my music in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next video.